Um, it all started really um, when I was 21 and uh, working in a local pub. And one afternoon I'd spent the morning in the garden, in the sun, and gone to work and saw myself carrying on as normal. It was a summer's day, there was a lot of people in the pub and uh, went to pull a pint of bitter and ended up uh, waking up in Stockport Infirmary. Um, really what happened is that I'd keeled over and had uh, what they was later described to me as an epileptic fit. Uh, I had a lump on my head, a bit in my tongue, and actually had a fit, as far as my friend had seen it happen. Actually had a fit, um, went to the hospital, was told that anybody can have a fit. A uh, one-off fit is quite common to go home, have a couple of days off work and carry on. Went back to work a week later and my boyfriend had come to pick me up after my shift and he said he was asking me whether we, where we'd want to go for tea and I was, he said I was not really listening to him and he kept saying, Ely, are you listening to me? And I remember turning round from him and picking up my handbag and again waking up in hospital with a lump on my head and a bitten tongue. Then went through the process of going to the Alexander Hospital and having tests, extensive tests done to find out what was wrong. Had a, a lot of tests and all came back negative as far as not being epileptic or, or not being able to prove I was or how I wasn't. I was then put on a tablet called Epilim um, and was sent away saying, there you go, for the rest of your life. Three tablets a day and we'll, you know, arrange to see you at a later date. Um, Carried on the tablets uh, over a six-month period, probably put on about stone in weight. My hair had started to fall out, my, my skin had got bad. Um, went to see a friend of ours, a GP, and he said that if I was his daughter, he wouldn't have me on the tablets. So came off the tablets and stumbled upon uh, Adam Fitzpatrick, who had a test called a, a tilt test, where they monitor you up to a computer, put you on a bed and tilt you to a certain angle which would trigger anybody to have a to f uh, faint and was told I had severely low blood pressure and started tablets from America uh, three tablets a day and slowly over six eight months again went came down to one tablet doubt to nothing and for the last five four or five years touch wood haven't had anything wrong with me so really Adam changed my life um, and put my life back on track and Help me to carry on with a normal life. After being told with Epilim I wouldn't be able to drive or drink for life, near enough, was my uh, diagnosis. And as I say, saved my life, really, Adam, with the tablets and the, the tilt test and everything like that. So Very good. So how did you did. find the tilt test? It was an unusual... I was told I had, couldn't eat or drink for the first couple of hours, um, so which I believe brings down your system, so uh, keeps you... T to trigger anybody to faint, I believe. So I was put on the bed and strapped in, <laughs> so not to fall out, uh, monitored onto a computer and triggered to, f uh, to faint and then lowered back down on the bed um, to stop me having a fit. Monitored on the computer, which in, in the end said that I had severely low blood pressure which was causing my fits. And it was a great thing, really, having the tilt test done, because then after that, when I had the feeling, that obviously I had the feeling when I did have the fits, after having the tilt test, I knew the feelings. So it was a case of lie down on the bed or just relax and it will go away. And it, as it has, I've only had one experience afterwards where I did feel faint as to, I lay down and was fine and nothing since. So nothing since.